here we are back again for page nine but first of all page eight is now decorated and it's on with the small pocket the larger pocket pocket in the center here belly band on the sides so a very simple page especially compared to some of the others and it's been decorated so that the paper here matches up with the paper here when it's closed and once again no magnets uh, because the weight actually keeps it closed it should be fine and that of course was the original page uh, three <laughs> Okay, so on to page nine, and this is page nine. So you have the flip and a pocket, which is on top of another flip and a pocket. <laughs> there is a pocket there, there it is. <laughs> and then this flips open this way and you have two pockets here and a tuck pocket just here so I'm going to keep that close by so that I can see what I'm doing grab my scoreboard so I can give you some measurements and then start so the first piece is oh excuse me the first piece is uh, nine by eight and three quarter inches. Now along the eight and three quarter inch side, you score it at half an inch. Place that score that you just made on the top. And then along the nine inch side, score it at one and three quarters and then two inches. One plain piece that is seven by seven and three quarter inches. One piece that is, I think this is supposed to be eight and a quarter again, it's eight and a quarter by seven. And on the eight and a quarter inch side, score it at half an inch. And as you can see, I've put a decorative edge, which has actually cut mine down slightly, but uh, eight, and a quarter, eight and a quarter by seven and three quarters. Score it at half an inch on the eight and a quarter inch side. Followed by a piece that is eight and three quarters, no, eight inches, I will get this right, and scored at half an inch and seven and a half inches, and it should be four inches in depth. So four inches by eight. Then a piece that may or may not stay this length, I think I'm going to cut this down. At the moment it is four inches by eight and a quarter and I will be scoring it along here somewhere I don't know where yet but you know it's eight and a quarter because that's just like it probably will end up being somewhere close to seven and a quarter possibly but we shall see one piece that is eight and three quarters scored at half an inch and eight and a quarter inches by five inches once again cut the decorative edge in already one piece that is three and a quarter by eight and three quarters scored on the eight and three quarter inch side at half an inch and eight and a quarter inches decorative edge already cut in yet again and finally <clears throat> this piece which is five by now this is seven and five eighths it's not going to remain this length uh, I am going to be cutting it down but on the five inch side score it at half an inch and four and a half inches but like I said I mean I've cut this at, if you cut it at uh, seven and a half inches then you know depending on where you want the pocket depends on how far you're going to cut it down so those are all the pieces and as you can see I have prepped a lot of them simply to save time so let's start with 
I think we'll start with by putting the pockets on. So, I said so again. On this one, this opens up to the right. So on this one, we want it to open up to the left. So my brain's wearing saying, what can I say instead of the word so? So, <laughs> going to fold down. here and as this is an odd numbered page so it's page nine this flap should remain at the top and then the two score lines are going to fold inwards making sure that that remains level As before, I'm going to trim off this tab at the end. So I'm going to go to the score line that is it's seven inches across or two inches in. And I'm just going to cut it down to where the score lines meet. And then this tab here, I'm going to just cut straight off this way. So I'm cutting off this in a straight line. There's my gussets there. So I've cut this side. I'm going to take off this whole tab here. So I'm taking off this bit of the gusset and this bit here. Which I do believe is one and three quarter inches. Yep. So I'm taking off the whole two inches. <laughs> taking off this two inch tab here. Oh, I'm waffling. And because I'm waffling... I'm going to not waste any more time. I'm going to cut this off with scissors. And if you do, you want to cut it off along the score line. If you can. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this tab is, once again, what will attach this page to page 10 and make the pocket... In between and this tab is what we're going to be working with so I'm going to ignore the two inch score line and I'm going to fold the one and three quarter inch tab forward so my gusset is hidden away face down on the table and so I've already prepped this with a bit of tape I'm now going to take my seven by seven and three quarter inch rectangle here. I'm going to release the tape back in. Add some glue just on that tape and after it's decorated I will be uh, sealing down the edges as well but that's after I've decorated. So I'm going to place this on top and line it up as neatly as I can with the page underneath. So this is nice and level. There's no overhang and it's just nice and even. That was the first bit. Nice and easy. Right, next I want to put my pockets in. Now on the original page, the pocket's opened towards the left. So on this page, we're going to open the pockets towards the right. I'm going to take my two pockets. And of course, these are the pockets that are eight and three quarter inches. And one, I believe, is five inches. And one should be three and a quarter inches. And although I have prepped this, I haven't stuck it down completely because I couldn't remember where I was going to have magnets. So you want tape Oh dear, dear, dear 
brain like a sieve okay so tape on the edges and along the bottom because nobody likes anything falling out of their bottom then fold this all back and with the larger pocket first I'm going to turn this around just to make it easier for me and this pocket is going to go on the left hand side of your base page but you don't want it to go over that score line so the score line that's seven inches in from this side you don't you do not want to cover over that score line because if you do your flap won't open and close properly oh my to my edges Do it on this one as well. Okay. As I said, this pocket is going here. I'm going to turn this around just so it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. Release the tape backing. my glue and as I said avoid the score line so you want it close to the score line but not covering the score line works for me and the smaller three and a quarter inch high pocket goes directly on top of this one so the bottom of each pocket lines up so take backing off. Glue on. And then this pocket on top of this one neatly <laughs> two pockets facing towards the right the small flap at the top which we ignore completely and what will after this is decorated I will seal down very carefully with a bit of glue each edge top and bottom to make this little tuck pocket you don't have to you can just use this as a tuck spot if you like and don't seal it I like to seal it because it makes this slightly stronger that's the easy bit I'm going to close this up and I'm going to close it <coughs> and put, make sure my gusset is hidden so my gusset is back on the table so I can't see it. And now we're going to do this front piece. First things first, at the bottom we're going to have a pocket. So this is the pocket that is is the same size I think it's four it's four inches high and eight inches wide and we scored it at half an inch and seven and a half inches I'm just going to mitre those edges 
the tape is already on each side and at the bottom. Actually, it might be easier for me to keep this open. So I've got this open so I can see the back of this page, and, but this is the front of the front flap. <laughs> release the tape backing and that tiny bit of paper oh, my paper tape I haven't been very good with it I've left it all over the place <laughs> tape backing off still trying to keep my floor nice and clean and not put anything on the floor so everything has to go straight into the bin let's get the glue on there and then very carefully pop this one at the bottom of the page lining up nice and neatly and there we go following that I'm going to put on this pocket a uh, top flap <laughs> and this goes obviously at the top here and now what is sometimes easier <clears throat> oh dear excuse me I can hear a fly and it's annoying me <laughs> trouble is why I have no windows if a fly gets in the house it can't get out again so I'm going to decide how far down I want this pocket now on this page it went just past where if I can find one this went here and this went about here I just sort of put it over that bit lay this at the top and I'm going to kind of guess about roughly where I want it so I'm going to cut it about here which will leave my pocket being about six and three quarter inches in length so this is going to be about six and three quarter inches It's not, it's going to be less, it's going to be about six and a half inches. Make that six and three eighths of an inch. So I've cut this at six and three eighths of an inch in height, if we're going to be exact about it. <laughs> Which means, for this to go over the top, this has to be six and three eighths plus half an inch. Um, <laughs> plus half an inch. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, for the tab. Okay, six and three eighths, I did say. So six. Is not long enough. Okay, I'm going to score the flap at six and a half, which is what I did anyway. So I'm going to score this at six and a half, and I'm going to cut it off at seven because then that'll give me my flap. So this is now from the tip here to the top, it's seven inches and I've scored it at half an inch in. Okay. 
Now what I did with the original piece was I didn't cut this, I didn't notch this out because this does go obviously underneath the pocket. So I didn't notch it out, I just found another matching piece of paper that carried on the pattern and just used that. You could, if you wanted to be really frugal, cut that bit of paper off before you put it down and then stuck it over but <laughs> that's a lot of work or you could have the pocket going just above this bit here which would obviously save you all the hassle but I, I kind of wanted the pocket there <laughs> this pocket I did say was four inches across So it is four inches, well it's five inches but it's scored a half an inch each side. I want to get some tape along the bottom and some tape along here. That fly is going to so annoy me. <laughs> all the edges on the pocket and on the flap for the flap <laughs> now I know this is four inches and this is seven inches so I'm going to place this so that it's three and a half inches each side and from that three and a half inch mark I'm going to very carefully mark two inches each side so I've got pencil marks there and I'm going to do exactly the same for the top I'm going to measure across there so that the three and a half mark is in the middle I'm going to mark two inches off each side of that so I now I have a four inch gap that's in the middle I hope I did that on camera. <laughs> so this pocket then goes in between all those little pencil lines. Like that it will be. So let's get this tape backing off. There it is. Oh, slight brain dead moment there. <laughs> <laughs> total and utter blankness okay let's get some glue on here and I need enough glue so that I have a good amount of wiggle time be in the middle there and in the middle to these two here and about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch away from the top there we go let's rub out these pencil marks before I forget or else they'll be there and that will be it <laughs> Okay, now I want to pop this flap, I fold this back, I want to pop this flap just inside this pocket so it's nice and out of the way, for some reason this doesn't want to play ball. <laughs> Or maybe I'll just pop it down behind it completely. So this needs to go behind the flap, but up to the top. 
so that it covers over the pocket here because obviously you don't want it to be crooked so and I said so again let's get this tape backing off add my glue and pop this behind this pocket so it might have been easier to put it on first to be honest but I wasn't thinking <laughs> is lined up now I want to push it up to the top well, that actually worked out better than I thought it would by doing this bit first let's not forget this hasn't been stuck down <clears throat> so we need a magnet somewhere along here we also need a magnet somewhere down here somewhere down here <laughs> Oh dear. Right, I'm going to mitre these edges and I'm now going to put this whole pocket flap combination straight over this top page. Once again, I'm going to open this up. So, this is just the front with this pocket. And I am going to peel back my tape backing. Add some glue. And then this goes across the top and lines up all the way down. Probably would have been easier if I'd done it from the top so that I could see what I was doing. <laughs> Just make sure it's all lined up and There we go. I'm actually going to burnish it down from this side. And that is the construction of page nine. So you've got your little tab at the top to join it onto page eight. No, page ten. Okay, this will have a magnet just under here and you have to be careful with the positioning of the magnets on here because obviously there's going to be a strip of this across here so if you want the magnet to be in the center here you're either going to put the magnet up here or hide it underneath this strip here so it's best to put this bit of the magnet on first before you pop it onto the onto the flat bit whereas this bit's a lot easier you just pop the magnet at the bottom oh dear, 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 dear. I've got all my glue back from there I forgot to clean up my glue on the inside okay so flap with a pocket bigger flap with a bigger pocket and then it opens up to the left and this will be when it's decorated I'll glue the sides down tuck pocket and then two pockets on this side facing an opening towards the right that's it page nine constructed I will show you the decoration once again uh, when I go on to page ten uh, which I do have already prepped so thank you for watching I will be back as soon as possible and uh, did I miss something out? Oh no, that's like a cut off on it from the pocket. Always good to say because it could make a little belly band somewhere. Thank you for watching everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> Page nine constructed. Thank you. Bye for now.